Hello. Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Are you the last auditionee tonight? I am the last one today. Okay. Been a long day, right? It has been a long day, but I'm ready. You know, but this is, if you've ever watched X Factor before, it often goes, it's the end of a long day, and our last contestant is silently waiting in the wings. Yeah. And you know what happens then. Yeah, it either goes very good or very bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the two. <laughs> so tell me about you. Um, so I'm 21. I'm yep. from Billingham and Teesside. Yep. Um, I'm a car mechanic. Yep. And then obviously I sing a little bit as well. And you live on your own? Uh, I live with my mum. Okay. Just me and my mum. Cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. You say mum like me. <laughs> yeah, she's my rock. So. And what are you going to sing? Uh, I'm going to sing Jealous by Labyrinth. And tell me why you've chosen that song. Um, it means a lot to me for a different reason, I think, to how Labyrinth wrote it. Which is? Um, um, I lost my best friend a couple of years ago um, and I kind of interpret the lyrics in a completely different way. I lost my best friend two years ago. Um, he was only 18 at the time um, and we were really, really close. We did everything together. We got a call saying we had to go to the hospital because he wasn't going to last the day. And I know that was tough on Josh. Sorry. The lyrics kind of say, I'm jealous that you're happy without me. Um, and I kind of see it in the sense that I'm jealous that he's now happy in heaven, that he's moved on to a better place and that I can't still be with him. Well, best of luck, Josh. Thank you. Come on, son. Come on. I'm jealous of the rain that falls upon my skin. It's closer than my hands have been. Oh, I'm jealous of the rain. Cause I wish you. It's hard for me to say I'm jealous of the way You're happy without me Honestly. Wow. I was. 
That was the most captivated I've been in all the auditions so far. Thank you. Sorry, I'm very emotional and you really touched me. I believed every word you sang. Um, I kind of want to hug you. I'll have a hug, I'll accept a hug. Josh, that really got me right in the heart. I was completely transfixed. Like, I, know, I didn't want it to end. Thank you, wow. Thank you so much. Josh, I'm gonna kick this off with a very emotional yes. <laughs> Also, you're getting a yes from me, Josh. Thank you. I think it was awesome. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's three yeses. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Manchester, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hope did him proud. He did do him proud, son. He did. I don't know what to do. to be reckoned with. 
I never like cry about this stuff and it's not even about me, but when you're talking about your parents and that song was for like my dad like picking me up when I was down and stuff, so that's why yeah. I kinda did it today. I have the same thing, like my parents, I don't ever talk about them, but I'm nothing without them, so just related to you on that level. So anyways, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Caitlin, I think 15 years ago, I was on a show in America, and a girl came in and told me she wanted to be a star and hadn't had a break, and her name was Kelly Clarkson. And then she went on to win American Idol. For a moment there, when I heard you singing the song, it was like going back 15 years. I think you're the best singer we've had. <laughs> something about you, you just won us all over, I think. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, we have to vote. Louis. Caitlin, I'm saying yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Nick. It's a yes from me. Thank you. You've got three yeses. <laughs> I have to say something. Do you know why sometimes people get bullied? It's because they're good. Because you're good. Thank you so much. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what up, you? What up? Thank you so much. Bye. I've been singing, you know, on and off, like, as a little child, but uh, a couple of years back, went to an Ed Sheeran gig. Yeah. I saw him just standing there on the stage, just with his guitar. I just wanted to be that. I wanted to be him and do what he's doing. But you know with him, it's all about the songs, you know that. I mean, I write songs myself, so... Can we hear one of your songs? You can, yeah. I've got, I've got um, a song I wrote for my brother, um, who passed away when I was, when I was only young. Um, and it's just a song that, you know, means everything to me, and only, only my mum's ever heard it, so... Do you want to perform it? Um, I can do. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm ready. It's entirely your choice, Christian. I feel like I'm ready to you perform sure? it. You sure? Yeah. All right, take your time. Yeah. You right. good? Yeah. I would do anything just to be two years old again. Imagine what we could have done. Imagine what we could have been making and paper planes till the sun goes down. I'll be holding your hand as you squeezing onto mine. Hold on tight, we said never let go. Remember building castles out of all let go. Just to knock him down. See it's changed now, you're not around. I'm not the same, but I hope you're proud. I wish your little face was still around with that cheesy smile and them little chubby cheeks. Imagine all the mischief we get up to. Imagine us tag team one plus two. Imagine all the good, bad, sad, and happy times. Imagine all the time out, naughty step crimes. Stay up late, watch TV, we couldn't watch. We go to school, break the rules, play hopscotch, and climb trees, chase bees just to act off. And fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight over brother stuff And sneak out late, play football till the sun goes My thunder buddy, I will keep you safe as you doze Off to sleep, bed bugs And counting sheep Off to sleep, night, night, baby brother sleep Until we meet again Stay safe, my friend And I will keep you in my thoughts till the very end My little telly tubby in the sky with a smile My little thunder buddy, I will see you in a while Sun on a rainy day when the stars come out to play. Oh, oh I miss you. And I miss you. And I want to be with you, my friend. I just wish we could be two again. Thank you for sharing that with us, Christian. <sighs> Nick? Um, honestly, Christian, on the first song, I didn't know if I got you. 
Um, and then you wrote that second song, and I was right there all the way, and you got me. So thank you for that. Louis? Yeah, Christian, it was a very honest audition. I think you were very, I think you bears your song. Yeah, very beautiful song. Very beautiful. I like you a lot. You're very pure in what you do. It has a great charm to it. Thank you. You know what, Christian? It was very brave to share that song with us because it is so personal. I don't know how you did that, but I think it was important that you did do it, actually, because it told me and us who you were as an artist and actually as a person. And you've got a real talent. I think you're great with lyrics. Yeah. Um, and I like you. <sighs> Louis? Christian? I'm saying yes. Sharon? It's a yes from me. Nick? I'm so happy to say yes. To yes. Christian? Guess what? You got four yeses. Oh my God. Okay. I'm glad you did. Thank you, man. I'm so much. Oh, yeah. He did great. Where's mum and dad? Mum, dad, beautiful. You should be very proud. Congratulations. Well done, guys. Nice to meet you. Take care, kids. Nice to meet you. It was real. He was real. Yeah. Actually, really good with lyrics. They were relate so relatable and endearing. Yeah, I agree. Just... Lovely to meet you. Simon saying he appreciated one of my own songs means the world and more. Okay, so this song's about um, a real couple that I saw, um, so yeah. Tom was born in 1942 with eyes of blue and the doctor said his birth was far too fast. His heart stopped twice, but yet he survived As he took his first breath, his mother took her last And he rarely spoke about her, but when he did He said your mother used to say this When the skies are looking bad, my dear And your heart's lost all its hope After dawn there will be sunshine And all the dust will go the skies will clear my darling I'll wake up with the one I love the most And in the morning I'll make you up Some tea and toast Well they met through a friend who introduced them And the first thing Tom said was Would you like to dance? But two quick years they went by They were side by side and without a plan, they conceived the little child. Their little girl grew up, and so did they. They said that they loved each other every day. And 40 years later, that brings us to now. And as they're walking down the street, her grip loosens on his hand. He puts her arm around her side. As she falls to the ground, he hears her breathing. And he's sitting by her bed in the hospital ward And their daughter walks in with a family of her own She says, Dad, I don't know if she can hear you now But there's one thing Mum would want you to know When the skies are looking bad, my dear And your heart's lost all its hope After dawn there will be sunshine And all the dust will go the skies will clear my darling Now it's time for you to let go A girl will wake you up in the morning With some tea and toast Thank you very much Thank you Thank you Hiya. Hello. You all right? Are you shaking? 
I'm really, really nervous, yeah. Sorry, nervous. sorry. It's all right. I'm Christopher Maloney, I'm 34, and I'm from Liverpool, and I'm a customer service advisor. This X Factor is, like, the biggest thing that I've ever, ever done. You all right? Well, I, I didn't realise um, how, big, how big the crowd was going to be. I've never applied for anything like this before. It's just, it's took me five years to actually build up the courage to apply it. I've downloaded the application form, filled it out, put it in an envelope and ripped it up. Why? Every year. Every, every year. Every year. Yeah. <laughs> Always wanted to, you know, sing, but people have discouraged me and said that, you know, you, you're not good enough. They've really knocked me confidence, you know, they've discouraged me from, from applying. And my head, I just think I'm not good enough, and that's what stopped me from doing it. Just nervous, just dead, dead nervous. I can see it in you. You've got to relax now, because we all believe in you. Me and my nan are dead, dead close. My granddad died, and then I moved in with her to look after her. My nan's the only person that's believed in me singing. I love hearing Christopher sing all the time. I am 100% behind him. This means everything to me. I've never sang in front of thousands and thousands of people before, and it's just going to be a shock to the system. Do you want to? Do you want to calm down? Who is your biggest fan? Who supports you? Me nan. How old is your nan? Me nan's seventy-six. Yes. Are, you, are you really close with her? Very close. Yeah, we've got a. Yeah, she's here tonight, she's in the back. She's here? Yeah. yeah. And what would it mean to you to get through today? It, it'll mean the world to me. I mean, the song that I'm singing, um, it was played at my granddad's funeral, um, and that meant a lot to me. It was a celebration of his life, and this means a lot to me, so that's why, you know, I feel like I can want to sing it today for you. And you know. Take it away. Some say you love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say you love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger, an endless aching me. I say love, it is a flower, and you, it's only seed. Hi, what's your name? Monica Michael. 
Tell us a bit about yourself, Monica. I like to songwrite in my spare time and uh, I work with the DJ and MC Academy and we have a van that we go around with to council estates and decks come out and mics. Oh wow. And the kids come out, they record for free and they get to write their own songs, so it's quite a fulfilling job. Who's next, please? Hello. Hi, welcome to The X Factor. Thank you. I think growing up, I found it hard to fit in sometimes. When I was about 17, 18, I thought, right, that's it. And I rebelled really badly. I just, you know, I definitely went off the rails. Music was the only way it, that I could feel better. It is my life. It has saved my life. I am so nervous. Is that mine? No, it's not yours. No, it is mine. No, it's not yours. Yeah, it that is. is mine, mate. I have a younger sister called Natalie. The song that I'm singing today in front of the judges is actually a song I've written for her. So I hope you like it. I hope I like it. I hope they like it. I mean, she witnessed me going off the rails, and that obviously affected her. And if she did do the things I did or the rebellious stage that I went through, it would break my heart. So I just want to let her know that I'm there for her. But I love you so much. <laughs> If I get four yeses from the judges today, it would definitely inspire her to achieve you know, what she wants to achieve in her life and also make my family proud of the fact I changed my life around and I went for my dreams. What's the one song that would give you a number one? I think for me, it's the song that I wrote. I'm not saying that I can write a number one. I'm not trying to toot my own horn like that. I'm just saying this particular song that I wanted to sing today, I wrote for my little sister who's 16. And uh, she's going to either kill me or she's going to love it. OK. Sister, I dedicate this song to you You're the first wish I made that ever did come true You made me smile every day, now I'm never blue You saved my life, girl, you don't even have a clue I know that I've left home, sometimes you feel alone I'm just a cool away, 11 digits on the phone I love you to the bone, I wanna make it known You will always be my baby, even when you're fully grown Pretty little sister, why wanna say I love you Love you, little sister, don't you? Monica, um, you are why we make shows like this. To find people like you, to give them a break, and hopefully get better. Because I think we scratched the surface with you. I really, really do. Thank you so much. So I'm really happy you're here. Mel. Killed it. Shut up. No, seriously, like your tone and your versatility is just on point. You're pitch perfect, you've got a swag, you've got that husky, kind of gruff sound, but it's very controlled. All round, head to toe, voice and everything. Done. Louis. Honestly, Monica, I loved everything about you. Your singing, your song, your passion. I think you deserve a fantastic break. Thank you. You're just real from the core. And it really touched me because my sister writes me poems. <laughs> 
into her since I was little, so I completely related to that song. And for that to be your song tells me you are super talented. You're just rough around the edges. You haven't had a break yet. But I absolutely love that song. In fact, I would download it tomorrow. Oh. I think you're fantastic. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to vote. <laughs> Louis? Monica, you deserve this. Absolutely yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mel? Definite yes from me. Wow. Cheryl? Thousand percent yes. <laughs> oh, my God. You got four yeses. <laughs> Thank you so much.